There are people who believe that they have a God-given right to rule over others. They believe that their outward appearance is superior to all others. They harbor selfish ambitions to be rich and to have power over what they describe as common people. They lie, cheat, steal, strangle, stab and slash their way to power. They believe that their actual willpower, what the British occultist Alistair Crowley described as the will of Thelema, the royal will, must be obeyed. Literally millions of people have been slaughtered at the behest of the royal lust for war. And thousands of people have been assassinated so that demonic dukes and killer queens can reign supreme. This cabal of crowned killers use the global network of secret societies loosely described as the Illuminati to do their bidding and killing. The conspiratorial view of history is the correct view of history. Conspiracy to grab property, conspiracy to make illegal profits and conspiracy to assassinate has been the driving force behind the royal political elite for thousands of years. For the crowned killers of Europe, torture, disemboweling, hanging, burning, strangling, poisoning and killing in the most satanic manner is the order of the day. This is the modus operandi of royal families. For centuries, the royal elite have devised terrible punishments for anyone accused of treason. The monarchy reserved the most disgusting forms of torture and death for those who questioned the royal will. A so-called traitor would often have each arm and leg tied to four horses, which were whipped to gallop in opposite directions, thus ripping the victim into four parts whilst still alive. Often, the royal elite would divide the victim's heart into sections and send these for public display to different parts of the country as a macabre warning. The British throne has been bathed in blood for centuries. At one time, Britain contained several small kingdoms. These small kingdoms, ruled over by an intermarried, self-elected elite, were gradually amalgamated into the single monarchy which rules over Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, England, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and secretly controls the United States of America. <laughs> 